you can see how innovative the people who are living in this camp were try to capture the life with what they have of resources of very very limited resources or sometimes no resources no matter what will happen to any community or any group of people <coughs> living in a place for this long time of period that they can stay still doing nothing. You see these young girls crossing the road and these shops is creating a local economy for the Palestinian refugees who have been staying in this area for 75 years. In this camp, there's a lot of innovative ideas came out to let the people to build this local economy for the camp or for the people and with less resources and sometimes no resources those people managed to create a new life for those generations who lived here in this camp over the last 75 years all these sh shops and all these people are very resilient they don't want from you a handout for food. What they want from you, justice to be prevailed to go back to their homeland. That's one thing. Second thing is to be empowered to build their own local economy. Thirdly, to be respected by everyone and anyone because they have the right to live and they exist. So today is a memorable day for me to see how people are resilient and nobody ever can break their back or can demoralize or humiliate them or can step on their toes. They managed and they will manage till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring justice to them, inshallah. All these houses were uh, like uh, tents 75 years ago. Tent developed to become a mud house. Houses made out of mud. And now you can see all these houses which actually they lived in it for the last 75 years. From Erbit, north of Jordan, was love to all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a part of Erbit refugees camp for the Palestinian people in North Jordan. People left their houses in 1948 and they came here to stay in tents. Tents like the tents we are actually having nowadays, hoping that they'll go back to their own homes and country uh, in a month or two months or three months or six months time. But they have been here for the last 75 years. The camp has been changed from a tent camp into mud houses, into what you can see nowadays of uh, bricks and walls and concrete houses. And this is my worry about the Syrian problem where with the longevity of the conflict becomes a protracted problem or crisis and afterwards the first generation will become a second generation and the third generation uh, so and the fourth generation 
and the Palestinians have been living here in Erbit in the north of uh, Jordan for the last 75 years aiming that one day they will go back to Palestine and we pray that they will go back to Palestine again and you can see this is look like a, a community market and on the left actually shops shops on the right and life goes on whether they stay in Erbit or they still thinking to go back to Palestine uh, inshallah and uh, this is how people actually come out with their dreams from their homeland to another homeland and they don't know where they're going to go back to the homeland again inshallah uh, I've been visiting some of the families here in Erbid and uh, see all those second or third generation of Palestinian people are living in Erbit camp actually in north of Jordan and life goes on life does not stop life does not wait for anyone but if we want to develop life we have to be ahead of the speed of life to create a better condition for the people who are living in their life, inshallah. And see, look at the left. This is a part of the market which is being made by the people. Actually, people with hope and still having the hope with them that one day the just problem will be sorted out and each one of them go back to their houses, their land, their farm, actually, inshallah. Uh, thousands of Palestinians are still living here in this uh, camp and uh, may Allah help them and help all of us to help them as well. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته